Hi there, my name's Rocky, and I'm here to help you become a Facebook Marketplace Pro. If you're new to Facebook, you've probably noticed how scary and daunting Facebook Marketplace can really be. But don't worry, today I'm going to put together a list of easy to understand steps that'll put you from zero to hero in no time. So let's get started, shall we? Before we begin, allow me to cover the ground rules. To start, let's go over the rule of the three B's. The first B stands for bargain. Make sure to always bargain whenever buying or selling on Facebook Marketplace. The second B stands for BS. Make sure to always BS every claim that you make and never take BS from anyone trying to buy from you. And the third B is no lowballers. Yeah, no lowballers. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get on to step one. Account. Having a proper looking account is one of the most important things when trying to sell something on Facebook Marketplace, as it allows buyers to check the validity of your listings. To do this, make sure your account looks as scary and ominous as possible. The more you look like a criminal, the better. For your profile picture, choose something that's eye-catching that will make buyers trust you immediately. You'll want to use a picture that has no mention of you whatsoever. Something like a funny minion meme that you got off of Google, or no profile picture at all, usually does the trick. To see if you've done well, take a look at your account from a buyer's point of view. If your account looks like you A, just picked up a phone for the first time, or B, are a registered sex offender, then you're all set. As for your banner, you'll want to make it the same exact picture, except zoomed in 500%. Wow, doesn't that look wonderful? All right, now that your account is set up, let's move on to the fun part, taking pictures. The pictures you take are the most fundamental part of selling something on Facebook Marketplace. First, you want to grab something you can take pictures with, something like your phone. <laughs> no, not that, this. Now that you have your phone, it's important to take good and high quality photos for your buyer to see. That's why we recommend tripping and falling over whenever you take pictures for the best outcome. Wow, look at those buttes. To ensure that you have the best pictures possible, don't let yourself go overboard. Limit yourself to one to four pictures max. There's no point in taking multiple angled photos when the buyer can just fill in the blanks. Oh yeah, and before I forget, it's always important to use all of the good pictures first, then use the picture where the car is totaled for last. A false sense of hope is always good when you're trying to sell something. And please, be cautious you don't have anything in the photo that the buyer wouldn't want to see. Uh-oh, I can see your toes. And those dogs are barking. Alright, let's move on to our next step, which includes writing a good title and description. For the title, keep it brief and to the point. Don't use something long and wordy that'll put the buyer to sleep. Keep it simple, like Toyota, or just car. You want to make your buyer do the least amount of work possible. Now, for your description, I usually recommend not filling in this part and just leaving it blank. However, if you want to write a good description, I recommend starting off with a great hook. Something like, PRICE IS FIRM, ALL CAPS, usually does the trick. Also. Make sure to state right there for everyone to see that you won't accept simple caveman questions like, <laughs> is this still available? <laughs> How embarrassing. Next, you'll want to mention that there's nothing wrong with the car and that it's a clean title and it's ready to go. Say things like, AC blows cold, freezing emoji, and the classic, this is my daily driver, miles will go up. Next, you'll want to hit return on your keyboard about a hundred times. All the way down here is where you'll mention that it's a salvage title and it was used in Demolition Derby. Oh yeah, and it's for parts. Also, don't mention the slight smell of funk that the car has, along with the mysterious fluid stain in the back seat. These are things that the buyer will figure out when they come to purchase the car. Saying these things up front will result in you having a good conscience. And remember, for every description that you write, the worse grammar, the better. Next, let's go over communication. 
it's important that you always have quick and efficient communication whenever trying to sell something on Facebook Marketplace. This is why it's important to be as vague as humanly possible, only giving the important details like, it works fine, and uh, I don't know, it was a gift. Those usually do the trick. On Marketplace, we go on a trust me bro basis. Trust me bro, it works fine. To be even more professional, try to respond to their messages at the worst times possible. And never, never respond to someone as soon as they message you. This may make you look a little too eager to sell your disaster on wheels. Alright, enough of the communication talk. <laughs> See what I did there? Let's move on to our final part, delivery. Delivery is the most important step of the entire process, as this is how the buyer will receive the vehicle that you're trying to sell. So remember these three things when you're going forward into selling your vehicle. Number one, buyers usually have a terrible sense of time management, so whether you get there 10 minutes before or 10 minutes after, you're going to be waiting there for at least an hour before they actually do show up. Number two, pick someplace safe where people will be around, so if anything should happen, there will be someone there to see it. We recommend something like your house. And number three, stay strapped. Sheesh, that was a doozy. But hey, thanks for sticking with me. Remember, Facebook Marketplace can make anyone successful as long as they're a hoarder in rehab. So keep your money up and not your funny up. And until next time, peace. Oh, and, um, I'm serious about that staying strapped thing. People are crazy. So, um, you know, if you learned anything, hopefully it was, hopefully it was that.